Let's start programming on radiotomy. Again, we want to get to the RMO, the Radio Manager Online. You can reach that on the web by going to rmo.radiotomy.com. If you're already logged in, you'll see you, you are in the welcome page. To begin, we want to click on Planner and then Audio to start creating your station. Now let's create some boxes. Boxes are really how we organize content on the Radiotomy platform. You'll see on the left-hand side a series of different boxes that allow you to coordinate your station. There's dynamic boxes, music boxes, playlists, jingles, podcasts, promos, voice tracks, and fillers. How each one of those boxes perform and how they can be of best use to you as you create your station. Let's start with music boxes, probably where you spend the majority of your, of your programming time. A box is simply a place where tracks are housed. And within those boxes, we randomly play the music back as part of your programming. In this situation, you have no boxes yet. So let's create our first box. Click on music and then go to the next a new box, simply move your cursor up to the new window and type in the name of the box that you want. You can name it anything and you can always go back and change the name. This is going to help you organize your content. As you can see here, we've named it Pop. Go ahead and click Add. Now let's add music to your box. First of all, click on your new box that we called Pop. In addition to you being able to upload your own content, we have over 100,000 tracks on the Radiotomy Music Library. So in the second step, click on the search window and search for some names of artists or songs that you'd like to include in this box. If you don't see the content that you want, click on the Upload tab and there you'll be instructed on how to upload tracks from your own music library that will then also appear in your pop box. This is an image of what searching for content looks like. Once you've searched for, say, Katy Perry, you'll see all the tracks that are available on the Radiotomy Music Library. Simply select the track by clicking on the hand and drag and drop them into your box. The play button allows you to listen to a little bit of the track before you add them. Your content has been added to your box. If you didn't see the tracks that you'd helped for on the library and you want to upload your own, simply click the Upload Your Own Content. Let's show how to upload your own content. Upload your tracks, which is to add files and start upload. So make sure that the tracks you're uploading are in an MP3 format and shorter than 15 minutes. Once you find the track, add files, and start upload, close the window and refresh, refresh your box. The tracks will appear. You'll see here we uploaded two tracks from our own music library. The first one was not recognized by the system, but the second one was. You'll need to validate those files that are not recognized by the system by clicking on the explanation point. And then you'll also see in the lower right-hand window a box that says See Files. Once you click on the See Files, you'll see which tracks need to be validated. This means we're confirming the meta tag information, the artist, title, and track information that will also reside along with the music itself. Simply click into these boxes and change any content necessary. Fill in the artist's title information and the year if you know it. Advanced editing will give you more options. When it's done, click on Save and Close. Your track is now valid. You can create as many boxes as you want. If you click on Edit, you have more programming features available for the entire box, setting intros and outros, 
and other broadcasting constraints that you'll see are available to you. You can also do it in one track by clicking the Constraints button here seen on arrow 2. See the next slide to learn more about mix points. Mix points allow you to control the intro and extra or outro from the track to the next. You can only edit the mix points on the tracks that you have uploaded, simply because any tracks that you pull from the library would affect that track for all the other broadcasters. You'll see here opportunities for mix points. Now that you have boxes created, let's talk about creating a clock. A clock really is boxes mixed together to help you coordinate your content. Click on Clocks. Clocks allow you to organize your boxes in sequences. Click on Clocks 1 and name it, and then add 2, just like you did with your boxes. Once you've created clocks, in this scenario we've created three separate clocks for different times of the day, which is just one way that you can coordinate your content. It's really up to you how you want to name and coordinate your clocks. You can name them as you wish. The clocks are currently empty. We need to fill them with boxes. Next, we'll fill them. Click on a clock. For instance, morning clock. When you select one clock, you'll see on the right-hand side all the available content or boxes that you can add to the clock to mash up content to play together. Note that playlists can be added directly to your programming and don't need to be positioned within a clock. So you'll see here just your available boxes. Boxes should appear in the clock. You can manage the order by clicking the arrow and moving the content up and down. Now let's create a day template, how you want the clocks to play back. Day templates are simply a way of combining the clocks, which is content, together to make a 24-hour day. To begin, go to Day Templates 1 and name the template 2. Now click Add. You'll see here your clocks are available to drag and drop into a 24-hour day. Select the clocks and drag them into the template clocks and see how they fill the broadcast day. You can also see those playlists that you created and they're appearing as another element that you can pull into your broadcast day. A broadcast day starts at 5 a.m and ends at 5 a.m. You'll see here, you can select the time in which you, you want the clock to start and finish. Again, the day always starts at 5 a.m. Add content so it fills a 24-hour day. Note the clocks are on a 24-hour cycle. Once you have it set, click OK. Once you've filled in your day template, you'll see what it looks like. The duration of a playlist is the sum of all the tracks inside the playlist. In this example, a playlist lasts 41 minutes. You can't extend it. So if you use only playlists in your template and you have a gap to fill in the 24 hour, feel free to create a music box which can be expendable. You'll be able to add that in and it will fill in the exact time it needs to complete your 24-hour day. Now that you've created day templates, it's time to start adding them to an actual calendar and begin broadcasting. This is the last step in your programming. Once you drag and drop your templates onto the calendar, you'll be streaming within hours. You'll see here an actual 24-hour clock day template available on the right hand side along with a month-long calendar. The Radiotomy system allows you to program up to 30 days of programming. You simply drag a day template onto a day and as soon as it's generated you know that day has been programmed. If you want to drag schedules across a calendar 
put the cursor in between days and see the black arrow that appears. Simply pull it across the calendar to generate playlists across the week. Another added feature is if you click on the I next to the generated playlist, you'll actually see what the system is queuing up track by track by track. This gives you another opportunity to move things around so that you can program exactly what you want to play. You have begun programming on Radiatomy. Next up, more opportunities to continue building your station.